Defender of the Fatherland Day, Russian, Den Zasitnika Otesisva Den Zashchitnika Otachesva, Kazakh, Otan Korgozi Nai, Tajik, Ruzi Durandai Vatan, Kyrgyz, Makendi Korgoakular Den Kane, Belarusian, Dezen Abarensi Ajsini, is a holiday observed in Russia, Turkmenistan, Belarus, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan and Tajikistan. It is celebrated on the 23rd of February, except in Kazakhstan, where it is celebrated on the 7th of May. In Russia and Belarus, it is a public holiday and, usually, an off day. Ukraine abolished the holiday starting 1992 and, after the Revolution of Dignity, has instated the somewhat similar Defender of Ukraine Day on the 14th of October. History first celebrated in 1919, the holiday marks the date in 1918 during the Russian Civil War when the first mass draft into the Red Army occurred in Petrograd and Moscow, on the 17th of February. In January 1919, it was decided to combine the celebration of that day with the anniversary of the publication of the decree on the establishment of the Red Army, of the 18th of February 1918. In 1919, the 17th of February fell on a Monday, so it was decided to move the holiday to the following Sunday the 23rd of February. That choice of day has been retained ever since. It was originally known as Red Army Day, Russian, Den Krasnoj Army. In 1923, it was officially named Day of the Red Army and the Navy. In 1949, it was renamed to Soviet Army and Navy Day, Russian, Den Sovetskij Army i Voeno Morskogo Flota, Romanized, Dian, Sovietskoy Army i Voeno Morskogo Flota. Following the fall of the Soviet Union in 1991, the holiday was given its current name in 2002 by Russian President Vladimir Putin, who decreed it a state holiday, in Russia. Celebrations in Russia and worldwide officially, as the name suggests, the holiday celebrates people who are serving or were serving the Russian armed forces, both men and women, both military and civilian personnel, but unofficially, nationally it has also come to include the celebration of men as a whole, and to act as a counterpart of International Women's Day on March 8th. The holiday is celebrated with parades and processions in honor of veterans, and women also give small gifts to men in their lives, especially husbands, or boyfriends, fiancés, fathers, sons and brothers. As a part of the workplace culture, women often give small gifts to their male co-workers. Consequently, in colloquial usage, the holiday is often referred to as Men's Day, Russian, Den Musin, Romanized, Den Muzhchen. One of the holiday traditions in Moscow is a ceremony near the Kremlin, the laying of wreaths at the tomb of the unknown soldier. The Russian president, the heads of both chambers of parliament, military leaders, representatives of other branches of government, heads of political parties as well as Russian Orthodox Church officials arrive at the Alexander Garden which is located near the Moscow Kremlin walls. After a moment of silence, the national anthem is played and a solemn march of an honor guard unit passes. In the evening, the country's leadership is present at a concert dedicated to the holiday on the state Kremlin Palace. Also in the evening in Moscow and in many other cities of Russia, fireworks are displayed. A military parade on Ost's Cathedral Square is held on the 23rd of February. In other countries in Belarus in Belarus, the holiday, known as Dezen Abarensi Ajsini in the Belarusian language, celebrates the date of the 23rd of February 1918, the date of the formation of the armed forces of modern-day Belarus. It was made an official holiday by President Alexander Lukashenko on the 25th of March 2004. Traditionally, on the 23rd of February, the President of Belarus lays a wreath at the monument on Victory Square in Minsk. Being that they both celebrate the holiday, soldiers of the armed forces of Belarus and Russian armed forces soldiers also hold joint festive events on the 23rd of February. In Israel in Israel, a version of the holiday exists as Yom HaZikaron, a national remembrance day observed in Israel held in 4 ER in the Hebrew calendar for all Israeli military personnel in the Israel Defense Forces who lost their lives in the struggle that led to the establishment of the State of Israel and for those who have been killed subsequently while on active duty in Israel's armed forces. This holiday is observed by a number of Jews who have emigrated from Russia and various post-Soviet states. In Kazakhstan in Kazakhstan, Defender of the Fatherland Day is celebrated on the 7th of May. The Kazakh Armed Forces was established on this date 1992 and was only made national holiday in October 2012. The holiday often coincides with the Victory Day celebrations on May 9th. In Kyrgyzstan in Kyrgyzstan, Defender of the Fatherland Day is a non-working holiday. In Bishkek, there is a military parade of the Bishkek garrison. The holiday was first introduced in the country by the government of Kyrgyzstan on January 20, 2003. Personnel of the Kyrgyz army have their own professional holiday on May. 
29, which is the day of the armed forces of Kyrgyzstan. In Tajikistan in Tajikistan, the holiday is known as Tajik National Army Day, Tajik. Ruzi Artisi Mili Toik, celebrating the Tajik National Army. However, it has been known that other military units, such as the Tajik Air Force, have taken part in the celebration. In Transnistria in Transnistria, Defender of the Fatherland Day is a public holiday. The main celebrations are held in Tiraspol. They are attended by the President of the Republic and the heads of defense, law enforcement agencies. By decree of President Igor Smirnov on 13 June 2001, it was included in the list of professional holidays and is a non-working holiday. In Turkmenistan Defender of the Fatherland Day, Turkmen, Wadan Gunanin Goragsaisi, in Turkmenistan is celebrated on 27 January, celebrating the anniversary of the founding of the armed forces of Turkmenistan. It was previously celebrated as Army Day until President Gurbanguly Berdimuhamedo changed its name in 2009. The Ministry of Defense organizes festive concerts and activities in military units on this day. The current military doctrine was adopted on the eve of the holiday in 2016. In Ukraine in Ukraine, Defender of the Fatherland Day, Ukrainian, Den Zahisnika Vytisizny, Den, Zakisnika Vyshizny, was never celebrated as a state holiday. In 1999 President Leonid Kuchma recognized the 23rd of February as Defenders of the Fatherland Day without, however, granting it any official status. President Petro Poroshenko made a statement on the 24th of August 2014, according to which, Ukraine should not celebrate the holidays of the military historical calendar of Russia, but will honor the defenders of our homeland, not someone else's. On the 14th of October 2014, a decree by Poroshenko instated the Defender of Ukraine Day, with its official holiday status. Today, even though it is not a public holiday, many women will still give some extra attention to male relatives, friends, husbands and boyfriends, especially to those serving in the armed forces of Ukraine. Armed Forces Day for the entire armed forces is celebrated yearly on the 6th of December with special programs and nationwide gun salutes and fireworks displays. In states with limited recognition in South Ossetia February 23rd as an official holiday in the partially recognized Republic of South Ossetia. The country's leadership pay to veterans who served in the Soviet Army as well as all those who served in the armed forces of South Ossetia and died in the 1991-1992 South Ossetia War and the Russo-Georgian War. The holiday also coincide with festive events that surround the creation of the Ministry of Defense of the Republic. In occupied Ukrainian territories some regions of Donetsk and Luhansk Oblast continue to celebrate Defender of the Fatherland Day. See also Police and Internal Affairs Servicemen's Day Border Guards Day Navy Day Day of the Armed Forces of Azerbaijan Defender of the Motherland Day Army Day, Armenia, References External Links